Hi, welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. I'm Rebecca. I'm glad you had time to join me today because I've got something really fun to show you. Let me get the camera turned around. I don't know how much you've played with reinkers, but let's play with those today. I'm going to be using some Summer Vibes paper to pull my colors off of. One of the nice things about Close to My Heart papers is they list the, all the colors that they used in the creation of that design. So what I do is I will pull three of the colors out of that list of my reinkers and then just play with them on white cardstock. Now you've probably done the technique before where you take and you just spray some water on your work surface and make sure that your work surface is nice and wet. And then you'll take your reinkers and drop a drop into that water because these are water soluble inks. Um, so drop that drop in there. And, and I'm sure that if you've played with your watercolor or with reinkers before, this is a very common technique. Um, but I took three of those colors from the Summer Vibes paper and just dropped them on there. And then um, I sprayed them down a little bit more to make sure that the ink would flow. And it was really starting to get away from me there. So I grabbed my piece of white cardstock and I just kind of catch it and just let the white cardstock soak up the color. Now, one of the things I will say when I do this is I've never done it and said, oh, that's pretty right off the bat. I always think it's so ugly when I very first do it. But having done it enough times, I know don't give up, just hang on to it, let it dry, and it will get better. So this piece, you know, has that, that uh, color in there that is the uh, toffee. And it's pretty brown looking, mixed with that red. So I thought, oh, that's kind of muddy. Not real thrilled with it. But I'm going to go ahead and save it because, again, you need to save those and think about them. Because other ones I've done, um, and that does have the colors in it. Other ones I've done, I'm always surprised how after they dry, they turn out prettier than I thought they would. Like here's a pink one that I did um, with the colors, and then I've done them on uh, other colors. So they turn out nicer when they dry. But this one I'm thinking is pretty bad looking right now. But what I want to show you is this technique, which is a lot different um, because you put your ink directly onto the cardstock. So I tape mine down really well, and I just use a cutting board with a piece of white cardstock. And then I just use plain water. I always have plain water on my crafting table using um, just a, a jar of water. That way it's, I can use it for this. Just a regular old kid's brush and I'm just painting the cardstock with water and getting it very saturated because I want the whole idea of this is as it sits and dries it will move the color because this too is going to look ugly as you can be when you first do it but um, give it a chance so I just once I can get my reinker started there there it goes get some ink drops on there and on that wet cardstock and again I'm just using three of the colors off the color list um, located on my Summer Vibes paper. Now I wanted this one to have a lot more yellow in it, so I put more drops of yellow, and I don't want so much brown, but I do want just a hint of brown, or that's actually called toffee. That's what the Summer Vibes has toffee in it. So then I'm gonna spray it again, and it's going to want to run off of my cardstock because as cardstock gets wet, it, once it swells up, it makes like a little mountain that wants to roll off of that. So how I fix that is I let it roll off, but I don't want to lose all the great pigment that's floating there. So I just grab a drinking straw and I start blowing it back on. That puts like layers of color, which is kind of nice because the pigments will sink in to your cardstock um, as it goes over it and the water absorbs into it. And then by blowing it, it just gives it a chance to go back over and do like a second coat and a third coat and so I just keep blowing it. And yes, it's ugly right now, I know, <laughs> but bear with me, it's gonna get better. You're gonna, as it, as the paper is very, very, the cardstock is very, very wet right now. And so as it absorbs the color and the water, it will spread out more. So it's, you know, again, it just takes a lot of patience. And I just use my straw, I keep turning my cutting board 
that my cardstock is taped to and I just blow the blow the uh, ink and water around and it makes it's going to make a very fun tie-dye effect here in a minute it's kind of like it had rubber bands and, and tie-dye sort of on cloth now I decided I wanted a little bit more yellow in this I think the uh, summer vibes is actually that it's the lemonade is the color that they use in the summer vibes paper collection but you use whatever you have in your stash with whatever patterned papers you have or I'm going to show you in a minute some cards that I made that I didn't even have any patterned paper that I just used this technique for the whole card but again just by blowing it over with a drinking straw blowing through the drinking straw and blowing the ink and the water back onto the cardstock it gives it a chance to absorb all the pigments once I'm done, I just kind of wipe off around the outer edge and real lightly dab to help dry it out a little bit, but that is very wet right now. So we just need to sit it aside and let it dry. Okay, so once it's dry, I'll bring it back in the camera here. See how it softened up as it dried? That water and ink absorbed all the way into the cardstock nicer. That's that same ugly piece, but now that it's all dry, it's brighter, it's softer, not as harsh looking. It still has all the colors that were necessary from the summer, summer Vibes patterned paper that I'm wanting to match it with, but it's much softer, nicer looking. Okay, so let's uh, play with that a little bit. There's the first piece that I sh did. Um, it's still pretty ugly, <laughs> so I just used it to make my Hello Sunshine sentiment. I cut the corner off and did some white embossing and there's the card using summer vibes paper the background you saw me make and then the one for the sentiment that i wiped up with the uh, on my work surface here's another one same technique with the um, three inkers and a drinking straw let that dry and i ended up making a little dose of happy card with that one again has that tie-dye effect which i think is so much fun Here's one I did, same technique, um, using re-inkers. This one I used some um, silver heat embossing for the speckles and some vellum to put the sentiment on. Again, same technique, some different color re-inkers with some gold embossing and some crystals. So thank you for joining me today. I hope it was a fun experience for you. I really appreciate all of you that watch. Please like and subscribe. See you next time. Happy paper crafting.